Hey guys, today I have something super exciting to share with you. I was lucky enough to chat with the extremely talented Gwendolyn Yao, who voices Nala Say in not only Star Wars The Clone Wars, but we have now seen her return in Star Wars The Bad Batch. She's one of my favorites. I love that she's such a unique looking alien and uh, I do love some of her personality traits as well. I love me a good villain, guys. So I was excited to see her come back in The Bad Batch and get the chance to talk with her for a few moments. We talked about coming back into the Star Wars fandom and I even asked her if maybe, perhaps, we could see her in the future in a live action Star Wars movie and uh, she didn't say no, you guys. She didn't say no. There's a lot of Star Wars projects coming forward, coming up soon in live action, and I would love to see her take on a role in live action as well. She's voiced several characters besides this one, uh, so definitely would be exciting to see her in, in live action, in the flesh, so to speak, in the Star Wars world. Fingers crossed that that happens, but uh, before we get into this interview with Gwendolyn, I hope that you take a second and hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here, and if you enjoy the content, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's check out this interview. Hey, Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for taking the time today. I'm a huge, huge fan. And I was so excited to see one of your characters from the Clone Wars come back in the Bad Batch. So can you talk about what it felt like to get that call? And hey, do you wanna do this again? Oh my gosh. I mean, um, I have a really good relationship with Dave and Dave F and um, so, yeah, I mean, to, I mean, I booked this job over a decade ago and it's just sort of evolved and sort of, you know, sort of, sort of evolved. And so, yeah, to get a call like that, I was like, absolutely. And um, we did look, we developed a really good relationship just from a straight audition. And, you know, he developed different characters for me as well. Um, the Jedi Khalifa and Peppy Bao and like those different things, but there was just something special about Nala say, um, it was just so, I mean, I think I played alien. It's just so nice to play, I think, something that's so not me in terms of my on-camera, you know, life. Um, so, um, um, you know, that stuff wasn't racially based or, or, or anything like that. It was just this, you know, 12 foot alien that you needed a ladder to to kiss. Not to say that I'm gonna kiss anyone, not to say that I'm not, I'm just like moving away. Um, by the way, I welcomed the garbage truck um, just to um, just to, just to, just for the just for the emphasis. And um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, I was, you know, I immediately obviously was like, yeah, of course. So it's just been such a joy. But what I particularly um, love is really the camaraderie with with the cast, you know, with Bob Bergen and and D and, you know, meeting Michelle. And I think that um, it was kind of like it's just kind of like a, a, a party, but um, a focus party. But um, it really, you really, you just, you do miss that, you know, instead of, instead of like, sort of having, um, being in the studio by yourself, that it really, that really was, was, was really be a beautiful experience. And Alice Say's got, you know, she's so um, complex and, um, and it's up to the audience to kind of, I just, I'm excited for, for the audience to see her unfold, you know, she can seem very, um, conservative mm -hmm. and um internal but there's a lot going on underneath so it, it was a really a, really a joy to play her and uh, yeah I'll continue to play her uh depending on how the universe goes <laughs> do you think you would ever do anything live action in Star Wars um sure I mean there's a lot happening in the Star Wars universe with their live action with their cartoons um but I'll just say that it would be hard to say no to anything that Star Wars would offer in the event that there was something to be offered in the first place. All right. And then uh, it's almost my time, but real quick, I want to know which member of the Bad Batch are you most like? Which member of the Bad Batch am I most like? I know. <laughs> That's a hard one. Oh, gosh. Um, I would say... Um, that I would be most like the person who plays them all, which is D. <laughs> He's such a good <laughs> friend. <laughs> He's got so many voices in his head. Um, and um, I have a lot of voices in my head as well. So um, if anything, I, I think it's just more, it's more about us being more cr creative as artists and um, try, trying to, trying to sort of, you know, sort of 
hearing his process and my process. So I think it's brought, it's, I think it's brought us closer. So I would say, um, I'm the closest to D really as a, as a buddy <laughs> and, and, and his creative mind. Awesome. I love that. Well, again, thank you so much for taking the time today. I appreciate it and love seeing you return in the Bad Batch. So, all right. Bye, Mama Skiki. Thanks, Tessa. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, guys, I hope you liked my chat with Gwendolyn. She was so sweet. I had such a fun time talking with her. You guys, let me know your favorite part of it down below in the comments. What do you think about this character? Do you love her? Do you think she's like totally a villain at heart? Like, what are your theories? Give them all to me down below in the comments and we'll chat about it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. Follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there. M-A-M-A-S-G-E-K-Y. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face-to-face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.